let's solve this problem 322 in this problem it is said that determine the force p required to begin rolling the uniform cylinder of mass over the obstruction of height h so here is the obstruction of height h and we are required to find this force p which is required to roll this cylinder over this obstruction right so it has a mass as well so its weight will be acting at this center so if we draw that weight weight will be acting vertically downward at this center of this cylinder right so this will be that weight acting vertically downward and this is mg and the reaction at this point will be acting towards the center of this cylinder as well let's say that this is that reaction and here when it is at rest so then there will be a normal reaction at this point right so there will be a normal reaction but the time when it starts rolling so then this n will become zero right so we will consider this zero since we want to find the p when this cylinder will start rolling over this instruction over this obstruction right so if if i draw a triangle here let's say and let's say that this point is x and let's say that this is the center and let's say that this is s so if we consider this uh, csx triangle let's say or uh, let me write that this is a b c triangle right so if this is a b c triangle so if we consider this a b c triangle and let's say that this is alpha so then this length this a c length is equal to the radius so let me draw that triangle here as well right so if this is a triangle so this is a b and c so this is that radius right and this is height so this total height from this point from this point to this point to C, this total distance is again R. But how? What about this CB? So then this will be R minus H, right? So this distance, this height of this triangle is R minus H, and this is our alpha, right? So now if we find the summation of moment at point A equals to zero, so then that will give us the force required to roll this cylinder over that obstruction so now and if we consider that counterclockwise moment is positive so as we can see that this p is producing clockwise moment about this point a right so i will write minus p and the perpendicular distance of this p from that point a is this bc distance and this bc distance is r minus h similarly as we can see that this weight is also producing the moment about this point a and that moment is counterclockwise so we will write plus and that will be mg and the perpendicular distance of this weight from this point a is this ab this ab so now we need to find this ab length as well right so r square if we apply the pythagoras theorem so then r square will be equal to r minus h whole square plus a b whole square and we need to find this length right so a b whole square equals to r square minus and this will be r minus h square right so r minus h whole square and if we take the square root so then this will be equal to this thing so then this will be r square minus r minus h whole square and square root and this will be equal to 0 and we can simplify this as well right so if we simplify this so then this will be r square and if we apply a minus b whole square formula so then this will be r square minus h square plus 2r h right so this is this thing right r square plus h square minus 2r h and square root 
and this will be equal to r square minus r square minus h square plus 2rh square root so they will cancel out each other and we will be left with 2rh minus h square square root right so now we can write it like this so then this is 2rh minus h square then p will be equal to minus p into r minus h will be equal to minus mg square root 2rh minus h square and if we divide and this minus will be cancelled out with this one and if we divide both sides of the equation by r minus h so r minus h and this is g right so this is that p which is required to roll this cylinder over this obstruction. So this is the solution of this problem.